Thank you so much. All right, gaming numbers are strong. Nevada adds 55,000 jobs. And a new study shows that men are actually spending a little bit more on impulse buys than women. So we'll get right to that in a second. But let's start with those gaming numbers. Steve Buden here to explain all of it for yeah, us. Yeah, so good numbers all across the board. Uh, locally, uh, both on the Strip and downtown, and even in the outskirts, and even over in Macau, Gaming numbers look great, and you know we have different local companies that cater to different markets. So you have Las Vegas Sands and Win. A lot of their revenue comes from overseas. MGM, Caesars, they deal a lot with the Strip, and then locally, you know Red Rock and, and Boyd. All across the board, the numbers are up, uh, and even in a slow time of the year, the convention visitation has been up. So this is a really strong report. And that's always good for us who live here because yep. we want people to come here and yeah. gamble and use all our amazing facilities yep. to do that. So that's, yeah. that's good for us. It's great for us, and it also dovetails into the second part of the report with all the jobs created. 55,000 jobs, which equates to about 150 new jobs a day are getting created here in Nevada, and that's through the end of May. And whether it's construction, gaming, healthcare, education, all across the board, it's a really strong report, and I know talking to local business owners, a lot of them are having a big time of trouble getting qualified employees. So there is actually a shortage of qualified employees. Good. Good problem to have if you're the employee, yeah. not if you're the employer. <laughs> yeah, that's what you were saying earlier, that uh, some of these employers, uh, everybody's booked up. They're yes. like, we we have jobs right now. <laughs> Thank I, you, but no thanks. That's right, and I think business could be a lot better if there were more qualified folks for some of these jobs. I mean, we're looking at, at growth in the mid to high single digits here in Southern Nevada. I think it could be stronger than that. Well, if the we employee got people pool. coming here every yeah. day, so. Yep, absolutely. You think a lot of those numbers have to do with the construction boom yeah, right I now? Yeah, I do. I do. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this one's pretty interesting. A new study shows men are spending more on impulse shopping than women. Who would have thought? Yes, uh, <laughs> I saw this report over the weekend, and I will say that not everybody answers these surveys honestly. So having said all that, it shows that uh, most people will equate women with making impulse purchases. Uh, but the studies that they were just doing over the weekend were saying that men uh, I'm sorry, what was it? 90% of Americans will actually say that they impulse shop, which mm -hmm. is no surprise to anybody. But 25% uh, of men who have done it have spent over $100. Only 16% of the women who are surveyed say that they spend over $100. I was I'm gonna not say, so that sure might I be buy the that. disconnect is women's yeah. impulse buys are a little yeah. bit cheaper than men's. What's something you've impulse bought? Yeah, I, I bought golf clubs. Golf clubs? Yeah. yeah. I'm and thinking you, more like flights. I would just like. Buy. Oh, I can tell you one impulse buy. I bought a puppy. Oh, well, that, that's an expensive purchase. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think that's my impulse buy. That I'm not allowed to have another impulse buy for like that's right. 10 years, right? <laughs> yeah, and there is a lesson here, folks. The, the lesson is, you know, impulse shopping is fine. If you're, in a, you know, if you're in a coffee bar and you buy a cup of coffee on impulse, that's fine. I'm not so sure I'd book a vacation or buy a new vehicle or a, a refrigerator a on impulse or a puppy. That's yeah. probably, yeah. I didn't think of that one. But... <laughs> There's a, a common rule among uh, the financial community, the 24-hour rule. If you're looking at a big purchase, sometimes it's good to go home, sleep on it, wake up the next day, and if you really feel you still need it, then go ahead and make the purchase. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Financial focus. I'll never regret buying my puppy, though. We'll be right back. <laughs>